in Europe, you are going to be screwed as we are screwed. And I think you should think very, very carefully about who you elected your president. And you also, you need to monitor all these Republicans who've, who, who've come in, you know, in, in the midterms, who are talking about, about Tea Party values and stuff. I think you want to be monitoring them very carefully, because I'm already seeing signs that they are just corporatist, pork barrelers, like all the rest. Well, absolutely. And we hope for somebody like Ron, Ron Paul or Rand Paul. Uh, the problem is that it takes close to a billion to run successfully for president. Yeah. There's another way to defeat them, to take the states back and then block the federal government. That's what the founders envisioned. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. We've got to go at this from every angle and resist and say no, no, no. But, 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 but speaking of European tyranny, I'm not really a fan of some of the George Soros type connections to WikiLeaks, and I'm just. No, I agree. I totally agree with you. This is. I mean, it's interesting. Libertarians in Britain, and perhaps it's the same in America, are completely divided over Julian Assange. Some of, the, or have you pronounced his surname? I don't know. He's Australian, isn't he? I mean, some people are saying that he's an absolute hero. You know, we should be celebrating. He's fighting our battles. I think he's probably a bit of a kook. I, and, I, and the idea that you know. George Soros is funding something, you know it's going to be a bad thing. Well, th that's where I'm going with this is he's clearly the patsy. And you notice the leaks are just continuing. They put him out there, push him to the front. Yeah. Uh, I interviewed uh, John Young of Cryptome. He's on record with registering it. Uh, then it got taken over by Cass Sunstein, the White House regulations czar, who openly says, infiltrate the web to bring the web down. Yeah. Now they're introducing legislation to censor the press. They're talking about indicting New York Times uh, reporters. And so I think this is all an elaborate event uh, to basically have a, uh, a, a Pearl Harbor or 9-11 yeah. For the internet, and then come in and restrict, uh, you know, not George Soros, but people like James Dillingpole yes. or, or or Alex Jones. And I've been saying this for months. Now, yeah. now it's beginning to unfold. But regardless of what we think of Assange, dressed up in you know clownish suits and things, mm. uh, you know, out there playboying. I mean, you know, I mean, who blames him? He, you know, he's a worldly guy. He's having some fun. But, but the larger issue is we can't allow him under EU feminazi rules. Yeah. Uh, with, with, with this woman with CIA connections and writing things about how to set men up in the legal system and they're throwing parties for him the day after he supposedly rapes them and that they're sending text out on, on Twitter about how wonderful it all is and they're buying him bus tickets. But then they're saying, well, he argued about the condom. And, 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 and so that's the, quote, liberal fascism is that if you disagree with global warming, they want to arrest you in Europe. If you have unprotected sex, it's rape. I mean, that's what the feminists teach. They teach that that, that, that sex is rape when a man's involved because men are the devil. Yes, 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 absolutely. I, but I, I, I think you're absolutely right on the bigger picture here, Alex. It, 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 is a, it is very, there is no question that the system, the, the, the various governments, the, the various administrators in Europe and in America would dearly love to close down the internet, or I mean, or, or rather, limit its freedoms. You know, for example, Climate Gate. The Climate Gate would never have happened if it hadn't been for the for the internet. And you look at the difference in the way that uh, Climate Gate was reported in the MSM, i.e., not at all, and the way it was reported on the internet, i.e., an awful lot. But we broke realize. their blockade. It took three weeks, but their total uh, blockade. Uh, uh, yeah. Failed. I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, well, I, I mean, uh, you know, uh, when I was when I was growing up, I I kind of uh, probably like 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 you and probably like most of us. I I had faith in the system. I had faith in the establishment because I thought, well, you know, governments, you know, that they're, they're doing their best and they're trying to help us and blah 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 blah. It's only as I've got older and wiser and looked at the world and realised that that really the whole system is a conspiracy against the against the individual against personal freedom so many people now um are are, are, are cozying up to to the systems of, of of government in order to make their money you know for example uh britain is the the, the, the percentage of the economy now owned by the british government is 57 percent well in the victorian era at the peak of britain's economic power Government had about 10% of the economy. Can you see what, what, what it can do to a nation when, when the public...
public sector, the state, owns 57% of the economy. Even in uh, the Soviet bloc, at the height of the Cold War, uh, the, uh, the communist the governments uh, um, in countries like, like Romania and Hungary had about 70% of the economy. So Britain is only 13% away of being a, a, a communist state. Well, it certainly is, and, and and we see powerful robber barons funding the mega state because that knocks out all their competition. And I found that if you explain that to a grassroots liberal, they stop the bedwetting and figure it out. They really think government loves them and is going to give them a free lollipop. All government is going to do is basically cut their legs off to make them dependent, and 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 and, and then allow only the biggest pigs to get at the trough and feed and we're the little piglets the runts we're going to be pushed to the sides and we're going to starve to death yeah well i think i think one of the, uh, the one of the great uh, the, the evil lies told by the left is that um that capitalism is the same as corporatism capitalism i believe in capitalism i believe in free markets i believe that people should be allowed to make money and spend that money as they see fit that's Not freedom the stay there tell us the difference on the other side james dilling poll i'm alex jones prisonplanet.tv infowars.com his side is james stay with us we'll be right back Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way. And you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. Do you want to get away from additives and preservatives in your food? Need alternatives to conventional food preparation? Do you want to save the fruits of your gardening labor? And are you looking for an excellent gift idea? Then check out the Excalibur Dehydrator. Dehydration is one of the healthiest, most cost-effective, and fun ways to feed yourself and your family. Make healthy snacks like fruit roll-ups and beef jerky. Store healthy food in case of an emergency with no added salts, fats, or preservatives. And save hundreds of dollars by drying it yourself with the Excalibur Dehydrator. The Excalibur Dehydrator comes with an industry-leading exclusive 10-year warranty. And when you order, you'll receive a free book filled with amazing easy recipes, a $25 value free for a limited time. Just mention coupon code GCN. Learn more and order your Excalibur Dehydrator today at dryin123.com. That's D-R-Y-I-N-G 123.com. Dryin123.com. Or call 1-800-875-4254. That's 1-800-875-4254. Season's greetings and health and wellness from Excalibur. Excalibur Dehydrator. Fight back this cold and flu season with the world's best garlic extract, Ali C. Why Ali C? Because it helps your body fight viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Ali C has been scientifically proven in double blind studies using low doses to greatly reduce the number, severity, and duration of common colds. Ali C contains 300 milligrams of stabilized allicin, the active ingredient in crushed garlic. Studies show Ali C is effective against MRSA, bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. One tablet of Ali C has the equivalent of 40 cloves of garlic. Ali C supports your body's resistance to all types of conditions and can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So boost your body's resistance to infection with nature's best garlic extract, Ali C. For more information and to order Ali C, call 877-888-7126 or go to garlichealthproducts.com. That's 1-877-888-7126 or go to garlichealthproducts.com for your Ali C today. James Dillingpole, telegraph writer from England, got cut off with his point about the difference between corporatism that Mussolini 
talked about being fascism that he loved versus real free market. I call it crony capitalism or insider capitalism. And then notice that all these big, quote, insider capitalist TV stations like MSNBC, they've blamed the derivative scandal on the free market. But it's government backing that fraud that allowed it to happen. And it's government regulators that allowed it to happen, who, who, who engineered the fraud with people like Bernie Madoff. Uh, going back to your point, James Dillingpole. Yes. Exactly. I mean, one of the worst things that could happen out of this current financial crisis that we're experiencing, the worst thing that could possibly happen is that people buy the lie that this is what happens when free market capitalism goes wrong. This is not what happens when free market capitalism goes wrong. This is what happens when government regulation distorts the markets and, and, and skews the system so that, that free market capitalism cannot self-regulate as it does if left to its own devices. That's how it works, supply and demand. It's, it, it, it's, it's very simple. It's, it's a beautiful system. But when and if a company in engages in fraud, uh, you know, they get in trouble from the state level, and people learn that that company's a fraud and don't invest with them. Just like a restaurant that gives people food poisoning, they're going to get shut down because people aren't going to visit them. You're absolutely right. I think one of the, one of the, the terrible uh, assumptions of big government is that people are stupid and that therefore they need to be treated like cattle and, and herded around by the enlightened few. And we know that since government took over education in Europe and the U.S., the U.S. has gone from number one to number 26 or 25, way behind even third world countries, because they've been treating us like cattle. Some people are becoming cattle. Hey, <laughs> We've had exactly the same experience in, in England, uh, and it has been a disaster. We, we're plummeting in the international league tables. You know, we can't read and write anymore. It's extraordinary. Uh, but to go back to the original point, I, as I'm, I'm sure you've had our old friend Michael Moore on your show an awful lot. He must be a big fan, I imagine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Michael Moore made that terrible movie uh, in which he you know, about capitalism, in which he tried to blame capitalism for the world's ills. Look, the, the, nobody likes big businesses, big business. Nobody likes Shell, BP, all these corporate multinational giants, which are in, uh, they're in bed with big governments. They're governments. I mean, they've got their own spies, their own systems. Uh, they attach themselves to government contracts, so government welfare. I mean, they basically are governments. Exactly. And the reason, and these big, these big companies, they love regulation. They want more regulation because they know it imposes costs, which they can afford, but the little guy trying to run his, his company cannot afford. You know, they can't afford, little, little guys can't afford uh, all the regulation to do with, with um, uh, you know, employing a certain number of minorities and women and allowing them time off and stuff. Uh, they can't afford the regulation. BP, Shell, they can wear it. It's not, it's not Exxon, they can wear it. It's not a problem for them. So they love regulation. Well, it's like this Food Safety Act. It's admitted that was written by big agribusiness to shut down small farms and ranches. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, you only have to look at the example of what happened in Nazi Germany. Nazi Germany, all the big companies got in bed with the government, you know. You scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours, and we'll get on with the system. Uh, but private property, uh, you know, forget about that. Forget about, about, about free markets. Forget about freedom. James, I want you to do five more minutes with this one-minute break. I want to come back and get briefly into uh, some more of what you see happening uh, going on uh, down in southern Mexico at Cancun and when we're going to learn if these scallywags are successful. That's pretty uh, frightening that you're saying they may be. Uh, they're playing possum right now. And we'll also talk about Ted Turner, the hypocrite, eugenicist. We're back in 60 seconds and I'm going to news blitz after that. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory-direct, big-money-saving, triple-concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's